So I was running into a problem with an app I'm hosting on Azure App Services and wanted to do some remote debugging against the app. I ran into a strange error. Actually, I'm not even sure it was an error exactly, but remote debugging wasn't working and it was 0% clear why. Let me walk you through the error and the fix. First, let's try to start a remote debugging session. To do this, go up to the debug menu in Visual Studio and go to the attached to process item. First off, every time I did this, I always got this error. I'm not sure what that error is about, but I'll just click OK to make it go away. Problem solved. Whee! So the connection type value is already set to the right option on my machine, but just in case yours isn't, make sure that you've got Microsoft Azure App Services selected. Next, click the Find button. This will bring up this dialog that shows you the list of resources in Azure that you have access to. Next, I'm going to open up the resource group that contains the app service I want to debug. The one I want is called Slide Speaker API, so I'll click it. I'll then click Attach, and that is supposed to attach to that app service instance using the debugger. Instead, it spins for about 10 seconds, and then it asks you to authenticate. Now I'm doing this from a Windows 11 machine with Windows Hello, so it tries to use the Hello Auth stuff. That definitely doesn't work. If I hit OK on the Enter Your Credentials dialog, it spins a little and eventually gives you an error. And that error looks like this. You get an error that doesn't say much other than, well, that didn't work. Unable to connect, unspecified error. Sigh. So no debug soup for you. And let's click the OK button to give up and try something else. OK, so that didn't work. Someone on the internet suggested something related to the published profile for the app service. That wasn't the actual problem, but it did lead to an answer. So let's go to the Azure portal for the app service, and I'll show you the issue with the Download Publish Profile button. The Download Publish Profile button ordinarily lets you download a whole bunch of info about your app service. Included in that data is a bunch of stuff about server addresses, usernames, and passwords. So let's come up to the Download Publish Profile button and click it. It attempts to download the published profile info, but it fails. The error says, Download Publish Profile. Basic Authentication is disabled. Interesting. I don't remember turning Basic Auth off, but let's go see. Click OK to dismiss that error. And now let's go to Configuration and check out that Auth setting. There's the setting, and Basic Auth is turned off. Let's turn it on and see what happens. Click Save and then click Continue on the confirmation page. Ultimately, the change is saved and the app service reboots with the setting. You'll know it worked when you see this message up here saying successfully updated web app settings. Now let's go back to the overview section and then retry downloading that published profile. Click the button and it downloads the published settings file. Let's go back to Visual Studio and retry our remote debugging connection. Go back up to the debug menu and choose attach to process from the menu get that same weird unspecified error. Click OK to make that error message go away. And now we'll click the Find button. Click Find. In the results, pick your resource group and then choose the app service you're looking to debug. Then click the OK button. It runs for a while, but this time it doesn't prompt you for credentials. And what's even more fun it should show you the list of processes that you can bind to. The one you want is w3wp.exe. Choose that process and then click the Attach button. Click Attach and it'll drop you back into your code window. I've already added a breakpoint in my security code. Now I'll run the logic that'll trigger that breakpoint. Here's the code I want to debug. I'll set a breakpoint here on line 74. Back in the app, I'll trigger the logic that should hit that breakpoint. The breakpoint gets hit. Let me clear the existing watch items and add a new watch item for the claims variable. Expand the claims variable in the watch window. And there aren't any claims in the variable, so this starts getting into problems with my application code rather than the problem I'm trying to help you with in Visual Studio. But anyway, the trick for getting remote debugging working from Visual Studio 2022 to Azure App Services was all about enabling basic auth. You might not want to keep basic auth on permanently, especially for production deployments. But if you're running into this error, re-enabling basic auth can help you out in a pinch. Anyway, I hope this helped. Email me at info at if you have questions or comments, 
or need more help. Thanks for watching.